The village in Middlesex has always been a crossroad. God created it that way. One of the earliest Indian trails led westward from the Susquehanna River to a fording place at the confluence of Conaguinic Creek and the Tort Spring Run. From there, the trail headed north, crossing over the mountain through Sterrett's Gap. Established in 1727, Middlesex is one of the earliest settlements in Cumberland County. Many mills and shops were located here. The buildings included a grist mill, sawmill, fulling mill, distillery, blacksmith shop, saddler shop, and a cannon shop. Later industries included a paper mill, tavern, plaster and oil mill, woolen processing factory, and a cooperage shop. By 1846, there were about 30 homes and a wooden covered bridge spanning the Contiguinet. Our church records began in 1834, when circuit riders were appointed to the Cumberland Circuit of Evangelical Association, which was founded by Jacob Albright. Church services were held in homes, then congregations were established in New Kingston, Carlisle, La Torte, Middlesex, Mount Holly Springs, and Hickory Town. Early in the year 1870, the pastor of the Cumberland Circuit, the Reverend Swangle, secured permission to use an old log schoolhouse to hold evangelical meetings in the village of Middlesex. The first revival resulted in 25 new Christians, some of which were ancestors of some of our present-day members. In 1886, the old schoolhouse was replaced with a new church at a cost of $1,700. White weatherboard church had four windows on each side and an open steeple which held a 400 pound bell. The Evangelical Church of Middlesex was recognized as a sharing and caring congregation, an example of which is when $13.61 was raised to help the victims of the famous Johnstown flood in 1889. During this time, the church and Sunday school were the center of the social life of the community. Picnics, festivals, and camp meetings were held regularly. As a result of God's blessings, in 1897, colorful stained glass windows were installed with memorial gifts from the congregation. A horse shed was built a little later to provide protection from the weather. The Middlesex United Evangelical Church never lost sight of its main purpose at this time. That was winning souls for Jesus Christ. Revivals were held annually, some lasting as long as six weeks. In the winter of 1910, Reverend Teeter held a revival at which time nearly 100 people became new Christians. In 1921, a jubilee was held to celebrate God's blessings of the church for 50 years. In 1924, electricity was installed in the church building. The church continued to grow, and new pews were installed in 1928. In 1950, a gracious revival led to the improvement and enlargement of the church. Reverend Hine presided over the excavation of a basement to provide more room for Sunday school and a fellowship hall. This work was completed by the men of a congregation by hand. A Mahler pipe organ was also purchased and installed in the sanctuary. The growth of the early 50s was a blessing that resulted in the construction of the present-day parsonage located beside the church in 1952. In the early 1960s, church membership increased again. The Little White Church regularly had its 20 pews filled, with more people sitting in the aisles and folding chairs. In 1968, the firm of McCoy Brothers was awarded a contract to build the original portion of our present-day church. The first service was held in the new church on December 21, 1969. The need for more space came, and in 1983, an extension was added to the church. An all-purpose room, which serves the functions of a large group meeting place, or a gym was added, along with eight additional Sunday school rooms. Soon afterwards, an outdoor chapel was built to hold early morning services in the summer months, as well as Easter Sunday services. In the past few years, the 1950 model Mahler pipe organ from the old church has been refurbished. A new multimedia system has recently been installed to provide a freshness and new vitality to each worship service. Middlesex continues to be recognized as a sharing and caring church. We are still looking for ways to serve our community. The crossroads of times past has been replaced by a modern one. The junctions of Interstate 81 and 76 bring thousands of travelers through our village as people in our area reach spiritual crossroads in their lives. 
we continue to praise God for the opportunity to serve them and introduce them to the gospel of Jesus Christ.